everyone, and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. Today, we're doing problem number 22 from the 2019 AMC 10B. This poem reads, Rashan, Sylvia, and Ted play the following game. Each starts with $1. A bell rings every 15 seconds, at which time each of the players who currently have money simultaneously choose one of the other two players independently, independently and at random, and gives $1 to that player. What is the probability that after the bell has rung 2019 times, each player will have $1? For example, Rashan and Ted may each decide to give $1 to Sylvia, and Sylvia may decide to give her dollar to Ted. At which point, Rashan will have $0, Sylvia will have $2, and Ted will have $1. And that is the end of the first round of play. In the second round, Rashan has no money to give, but Sylvia and Ted might choose each other to give their $1 too, and the whole thing will be the same at the end of the second round. So, um, the problem uh, basically describes the game pretty well, but uh, to summarize, we have three players, we'll call them R, S, and T, and um, they have some amounts of money, so I'll just write a dollar sign here, and at each round, they choose one of the other players to give their money to, and then they just give one dollar if they have more than one dollar, or if they have more greater than or equal to one dollar, then they will give one dollar to that person, and if they don't have any money, then they can't really do anything. So right off the bat, we see that we want the probability that after 2019 turns, we have f of 1, 1, 1. And just f just stores the amount of money each player has. So we can see that um, basically up to uh, symmetry, there are only like three states. There's f of 1, 1, 1. There's f of 2, 1, 0. And there's f of 3, 0, 0. And it doesn't matter which player has the 2, which player has the 1, and which player has the 0. And same with 3, 0, 0, because um, the probability will be the same after a, some amount of terms, since they all start with $1. So we don't have to distinguish. And so basically, since we have 2019 terms, we want to basically try to construct some sort of state diagram, or some sort of state equation, that we can relate these three states to each other. So if each player has $1, if it's 1, 1, 1. If S gives her $1 to T, and then T gives his $1 to R, and then R gives his $1 to S, then that's one way uh, to do this. And basically, you go from 1, 1, 1 to 1, 1, 1. If S gives her $1 to R, R gives his $1 to T, and T gives his $1 to S, you can also go 111 to 111. And in fact, these are the only two ways that if you start with 111 to go back to 111. But if S gives her dollar to T, and then T gives his dollar to S, then no matter what, if no matter who R gives his dollar to, you're gonna go from 111 to 210. Because these two will still have one dollar, and the R will give his R to someone, making someone's money, or making someone have two dollars. And this will happen with one way, or two, yeah, one way. But since R has two choices, and um, we can choose, we have three choose two possible pairs for the two players that give each other their money. That's equal to six ways. So from one one one, there's six ways where you can get to two one zero. And from 111, there are only two ways you can get from 110, or to 111. And as a reality check, uh, basically each player has two options uh, to give their, their money to, to another player. And so there are eight possible combinations because they just two cubed, and 6 plus 2 is 8, so we have accounted for everything. Now let's suppose one player has 2, and the other one has a 1, and a third one has 0. So it doesn't really matter which player has 2 and which player has 1 and which player has 0. So I just made it like this. And so if R gives its R to S. Okay, first of all, there are only four possible combinations in this. Since R has two choices and S has two choices. And T has no money, so he can't do anything. So it's just 2 squared. So if R gives his money to S and S gives his money to T. Then we go from 2, 1, uh, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And if um, R gives his money to S, and S gives her money to R, then we go from 210 to 210 again. 
of course this is up to symmetry and if you go from um, R if R gives us money to T and S gives her money to R then you'll go from 210 to uh, 210 and if S gives her money to T you go from 210 to 210 because T has two dollars so in this case they're basically um, there's one way to go from 210 to 1111 and then there's uh, three ways from 210 to go back to 210 so this is three and this is one so with this in mind we can start trying to map out our um, our kind of probabilities and we also notice that we can never get to a state where one player has three dollars and we've just shown that over here so we don't have to worry about this and so let's just try mapping out the probabilities and seeing if we can find a pattern since 2019 is a large number and usually when you see large numbers like this large arbitrary numbers it helps to um, kind of map out smaller values and see if we can find a pattern to prove or just um, go with that so basically the problem uh, at round zero the probability that each player has one dollar is equal to one and since we don't worry about three zero zero the probability that we have one player with two dollars one player with one dollar and one player with zero dollars is zero since everyone starts with one after one round uh, there's basically two out of the eight ways from one 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 to go to one 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 and there's six out of the eight ways for one 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 to go to two one zero so now the probability is one fourth and 210 is equal to 3 fourths. Put it over here. And after this, uh, after two rounds, if you go uh, from 111, which is with probability 1 fourth, you have 1 fourth times 1 fourth here, and then plus 3 fourths times 1 fourth. And over here, you have 1 fourth times 3 fourths plus 3 fourths times um, 3 fourths. And this is because from 210, in three of the four possible ways, you're going to go back to 210. And in one out of the four possible ways, you'll go back to 111. And so this is equal to, this upper part is equal to 1 fourth, and this lower part is equal to 3 fourths after two turns. So what do we see here? We see that these values are the exact same as these values. And if you get the same values after one turn, that means after the next turn, you'll also have 1 fourth and 3 fourths, and so on. So that means no matter how many turns you do it, as long as the number of turns is greater than 1, the probability that you will have all three players ending with $1 each is always going to be this value, which is just 1 fourth. And the problem asks, what is the probability that each player has $1, which is after 2019 time, which is just P of 1, 1, 1. And we just showed here that it's always equal to 1 fourth. So the answer is 1 fourth, which is B, and we are done. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. And um, this was a very sort of, this problem kind of used the idea of states. And we actually have four more states videos on our channel. Um, you can just search them up and check them out if you did not fully understand this or you want harder problems and more insight into this topic. Thank you.